VisionDP provides specialized templates that allow you to easily create the imposed layout for your variable documents to be cut by an MBM AeroCut machine. In this tutorial, I will show you how to access the templates and use one of them to create a simple business card application. To access the MBM templates, start by selecting the Use Template button. The Choose Template menu will open. Select the Template Type drop-down. Select MBM AeroCut. You will now be able to see the entire list of templates that are specifically formatted for the MBM AeroCut machines. You can either scroll through the list or sort by paper size using the Paper Size drop-down. For this demonstration, I'm going to sort by the Arch B paper size. Select the desired template from the list based on the cut size of your application. Click Next. Two files need to be named, your project file and your page file. Your project file defines all the settings that pertain to the job as a whole, including aspects such as multi-up settings, output paper size, etc. The page file contains the design for a single page or form. A project can contain multiple pages, but since this is a simplex application, only one page file needs to be defined. Start by typing the project file name. Click on the button below to automatically name your page file as well. Select Finish once you're done. The Import Data menu will open. Select the desired data file and click Open. The Data Import Wizard will open. Click Next through the following menus to confirm the default data settings. Click Finish to confirm the data import settings. Your new blank project will open and is ready to be designed. In the center is the design screen. To the right is the data view window where you can preview one record of data at a time. To the left is the job tree where all your multi-up and margin settings have already been defined for you based on the selected MBM template. You can expand these folders to view and verify these settings. For this business card application, I'd like the same record of data to be repeated enough times to fill the 12 by 18 sheet. Double click on Data Repeat. Type 24 and press Enter. Next I'm going to add the static and variable elements to this business card design. To add an image or logo, click on the Import Image button. The Import Images window will appear. Select the desired image file and click Open. Click on the page where you'd like the image to be placed. To place variable or static text on the card, select the Text Draw button. Draw a text block where you'd like the text to appear. To add data to the text block, expand the Field Name drop-down menu. Select the data field to be placed in the text block. Continue this same process to add the remainder of the data fields to this text block. Click outside of the text block to close the text editor. You'll now see the live preview of the data, which is not positioned correctly and overflowing the text block. Select the text block again. Expand the width of the text block. I'm going to repeat this process to add data fields on the right side of the card. Select the Text Draw button. Draw a text block where you'd like the data to appear. Select the Field Name drop-down menu and select the data fields to be added to the text block. Click outside of the text block once all the data fields have been added. To change the alignment of the text, select the text block again. Click on the Right Align button on the toolbar. Once the design is complete, select the Create PDF button. The Create Print File menu will open. Click Save to save your PDF. Click Yes to save your project file. Click on Save to save your card design. The PDF Creation menu will open. This menu allows you to find your PDF creation settings such as switching to production data file, choosing the range of pages to be created, and splitting options. Click OK to accept the default settings. Once the composition is complete, a menu will appear displaying how long it took to create the PDF. Click OK. The variable business card application is now complete and perfectly formatted to be cut on an MBM AeroCut machine.